from Shenandoah, from Page County, from KMA Land. This is KMA News Headlines. Good morning, I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Monday morning, March 25th, 2024. In the news this morning, KMA land lawmakers continue to hear a pushback with legislation altering the flow of funding for area education agencies. Discussion regarding the AA proposals dominated a legislative briefing in Clarinda Saturday morning, following a 51 to 43 vote by the Iowa House Thursday amending the measure sent over by the Senate. No changes would be made to special education funding for K-12 schools the first year, while school districts would receive special aid dollars in the second year, 90% would have to be spent on EAA services with the option of keeping the remaining 10%. State Representative Devin Wood and State Senator Tom Shipley were in attendance at that legislative briefing in Clarinda on Saturday. The full story is online at kmaland.com. The field of candidates is set for county offices in the Iowa primary. Friday was the deadline to submit nomination papers for the June 4th primary. Some interesting races are shaping up in Page County, where three candidates returned petitions for the 1st District Supervisor's Republican nomination. Brian Rogers, T.J. Horn, and Jeff Eshelman. Incumbent Jacob Holmes didn't return paperwork for the GOP nomination. As expected, there is a race for county sheriff in Page County, as Charles McCullough and Lindsey Stevens vie for the GOP nod. County Sheriff Lyle Palmer declined a re-election bid. Two other incumbents, District 3 Supervisor Judy Clark and County Auditor Melissa Wellhausen, are unchallenged for Republican nominations. No Democrats or Libertarians return nomination papers to run for Page County. Iowa faces a concerning trend with soaring cancer rates. Studies show a potential connection between agricultural activities and the increased cancer rates in the state. Exposure to chemicals like nitrate and pesticides used in farming is under examination for its possible role in cancer development. Coming up later today, KMA News goes inside the former Johnson Brothers Mill building, now known as simply The Mill. For the past several months, a team led by Loja LLC owner Margaret Brady have been working to renovate the vacant structure for future use. Immediate plans call for using the building's first floor as a farmer's market of sorts. The first event takes place the evening of April 25th. Brady tells KMA News she's pleased with the interest expressed thus far. You know, you never know when you start on something like this what kind of response you're going to have. But I had 50 people come and 30 people sign up as vendors. And then I had an additional 20 people sign up that weren't able to come to that meeting. So we have about 50 people that have expressed interest in being part of the mill market um, at some time. Now they are going to come when they want to, so they don't have to come every week. Be looking for the complete web story and video later this morning online at kmaland.com. KMA on track weather, 50% chance of rain and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Cloudy with highs to the mid-60s. Tonight, rain overnight, then a chance of snow and freezing rain. Some thunder also possible. Cloudy lows in the mid-20s. More news at 12.05 and 105 this afternoon and online at kmaland.com. Have a good rest of your Monday. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.